guys, what's up? It's your boy Perfect Soul. Back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today is gonna be us looking at the new League Un FIFA 22 player stats that have just come out. So I thought I'd do, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see on screen, we've got the brand new League Un FIFA 22 foot card player stats of some of the players that have just been announced on their website. So the first person is Mandanda. Goes down by minus two, so an 81 overall, which I think is actually quite fair. He's He used to be a good goalkeeper. I don't know how he's doing right now for Marseille in Ligue 1, because I don't really watch Ligue 1, but... He's still a decent goalkeeper. Definitely one for some of your guys' starter squads for sure, because I reckon he'll be quite good at the start of the game. Second player is going to be Arcadius or Arcadius Milik. I'm going to try and pronounce it. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing this correct. 64 pace, 76 dribbling, 84 shooting, 71 physicality. Eh, even with a, even with a hunter, uh, this pace won't be above, what, 75. So I don't think it's that great of a card to, to use, but definitely one for like trading and stuff for sure. Then we go Jose Fonte. Is famous for the, the just the, the lack of pace, really. If you think about it in the centre back position, someone with 32 pace, you don't really want to be rocking that. So again, he's gone down. I think he's gone down a rating or two. Obviously, yeah. But a card again that I'm not, de I'm definitely not going to be using. But moving on is going to be Benjamin Andre of Lille, his fellow teammate. 67 pace, 75 dribbling, 64 shooting, 80 defending, 74 passing, 85 physicality. For the CDM role, is actually quite a good card. I can see myself probably using him at some point for maybe the, a day or two in the game. Just if I'm looking for a CDM, which I can't afford, just put him in. For, 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 the meantime, uh, for the meanwhile, whilst I'm building coins up. So it's not actually too bad. Then we move down to Leandro Paredes of PSG with 66 pace, 79 dribbling, 71 shooting, 76 defending, 83 passing, and 79 physicality. Again, another CDM with slow, with not like a lot of pace, just slow. And I'd say a good kind of like CDM box to box player, because why not? Then the next one is going to be Husum Awa of Olympique Lyonnais. 81 rated overall with 75 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 shooting, 66 defending, 81 passing and 71 physicality. He's been linked with Tottenham and Arsenal over the whole transfer window. Didn't actually move, which I find remarkable. But yes, he's playing another season for Lyon in Ligue 1. And I think it's quite good. I think Ligue 1 is his home. I don't think he's the type of player to, be, to do well in the Premier League, in my opinion, from what I've seen of him. But um, yeah, again, as I reckon that's going to be a good start starter cam for you guys starting off your Rota Glories or even your like pay to win accounts. Then the next one is going to be Awa's teammate Lucas Paqueta, Brazilian centre mid from Lyon, obviously. He was 74 pace, 83 dribbling, 75 shooting, 69 defending, 79 passing, and 78 physicality. Again, a great, great card. A very, a very good box to box player, I'd say, rather than awa who's more just that cam i say awa's a cam and this guy's a box to box because he seems to be a bit more beefy with a bit more physicality so yeah then you got andy delort who is i think changed his nationality to algerian because i think he was french last game but obviously correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but yeah 84 pace 75 dribbling 82 shooting 37 defending 73 passing 85 physicality a very good kind of low budget striker i'd say max price is going to be what 10k i reckon i don't think i can't see him going for much based on the nation and league that he plays in um so yeah i think he's going to be a good one for you guys as starter teams then we got burak yilmaz of turkey and of luis lil they were 79 pace 73 dribbling 83 shooting 34 defending 69 passing 79 physicality again a decent card but I, I just I don't know I just can't see myself using him. He, it's just it's hard to link a Turkish player from Ligoon into like hybrid squads, but I'm sure there'll be a way if you really tried. Then left back for PSG of Spain is going to be Juan Bernat, 82 overall with 82 pace, 82 dribbling, 65 shooting, 76 defending, 78 passing, 68 physicality. A great card, a good starter card. I reckon his price is, oh, his price will be maxed like 15k for the first week, week and a half. I don't see it going over 15, 20k really. But um, yeah, it seems to do well at PSG uh, ever after moving there from Bayern Munich. So yeah, it seems to be a decent card. Then we've got Anthony Lopez, who is, I think, lost the rating. I, wasn't he 83 in FIFA 21? So I think he's gone down the rating. Uh, he's got 84 diving. I mean, you guys can see the stats on screen. But yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about him for me because, like I said, I don't really watch much Ligue 1. But if he's gone down the rating, obviously he hasn't played well for Lyon over the past season. Then, next one we've got off PSG, Idrissa Gana Gye or Gai with 69 pace, 78 dribbling, 62 shooting, 83 defending, 71 pass, 77 fizz. A great, but a great CDM. Just a great tool CDM. I would love to see this guy play for United. 
But yeah, honestly, what a card that is. And uh, I think based on the pace as well, I'm going to hope he's not over 20k because that'll be a card I've got my eye on, but we'll see. Then after that, we've got Mauro Icardi of PSG Argentina. 69 pace, 77 dribbling, 83 shooting, and the rest are just basic stats. With 69 pace plus a hunter, you're looking at what? 80 pace max, absolute peak. <laughs> Can't see many people using him. It'll be SPC fodder, in my opinion. Then next room, we've got the man from Germany who now plays for ASA Monaco. Or oh, ASA Monaco? or about AS Monaco. He has got an 83 overall card. Kevin Folland, 73 pace, 80 dribbling, 85 shooting, 42 defending, 79 passing, 86 physicality. A good beefy number nine. That's what I'm going to say. He's all, if you're trying to play target man football at the start of the game, he's the guy. I wouldn't say he's necessarily, necessarily tall, but he's a good number nine to start you guys off with a league one team. Then we've got Presne Kimpembe. With an 83 overall card. Got 81 pace, 70 dribbling, 42 shooting, 83 defending, 68 passing, 86 physicality. This guy's price is going to be around 40k. 40 to 50k, I think, if this guy's price will be at the start of the game. Because that card looks insane with the 81 pace as well. Plus, he's tall. He's, he's quite agile as well for his height. So, yeah, you'll be able to bully a couple guys off the ball. Next room, we have got... The most feared card at the start of every FIFA, Wissam Ben Yedder. With an 84 overall again, man's kept his rating. He's got 82 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, 39 defending, 77 passing, 70 physicality. He's got an insane card yet again. And trust me, he will be about 70k, I reckon, at the start of the game. Like, he'll be expensive because of his low center of gravity and his uh, pace. Then, we've, we've only got a couple more. We're getting down there. We're getting down the list, but we've got a couple more to do. We've got Jorginho Vinaldum, recently moved from Liverpool to PSG. Decent card, 84 overall, 77 pace, 86 dribbling, 75 shooting, 79 defending, 80 passing, 79 fizz. What an all-rounder. That is a that is your definition of an all-rounder. That's a number six, in my opinion. Vinaldum, if you're looking to spend a bot. With those stats, probably around 80, 90k at the start of the game on a, on a number six. There's your guy. Then we've got Aha Fakimi of Morocco, plays for PSG, also moved there recently from Inter Milan. He's got an 85 overall right back card, not right mid, a right back, with 95 pace, 83 dribbling, 71 shooting, 76 defending, 78 passing, and 78 pace. I reckon this card's gonna be about 60K. 60, between 60 and 90K, I'm gonna put down. But yeah, that card looks fierce. That card looks fierce. And to be fair, they've done him, they've done him not quite nicely with the image. Then we've got Marco Verratti, one of the most overrated centre mids, in my opinion, in world football. But okay, it is what it is. 87 overall card, 64 pace, 91 dribbling, 61 shooting, 79 defending, 87 passing, and 67 fizz. Those stats don't really look like an 87 overall card to me. But if he if he's as good uh, in game as he is on this card, then definitely a dub card to try and get into your guys' squad. But again, quite expensive based on his rating. Then we've got the snake, Angel Di Maria. 87 overall, kept his rating with 83 pace, 87 dribbling, 81 shooting, 48 defending, 86 passing, 69 physicality. The guy has lost a lot of pace, used to be faster, but I reckon he's still going to be a decent card. The only thing that's going to let him down is going to be his two-star weak foot because he's, he's left-footed. That's the only thing that's going to let him down. Then we've got the big boy, Marquinhos, 87 overall. Big card for him this year, big card. Hope it lives up to all expectations. I can see this card going for about 200k, if I'm honest, because it's got 81 pace, 74 dribbling, 53 shooting, 89 defending, 75 passing, and 81 physicality. The card looks insane. And like I said, I can see this card being 200k. He's fucking insane in game. I've used him at the start of FIFA 21. He was nuts. Let me know in the comments down below if you, got, if you guys agree. Anyhow, Kalor Navas, A overall goalkeeper card. Keeps his rating again from last game. But yeah, there's not much to say. It's just Kalor Navas, really. And again, another overrated goalkeeper. I'm, I'm interested to see if he's going to be number one for PSG or if it is Donnarumma. Anyhow, after that, we've got Sergio Ramos, 88 overall card. So he's lost the rating after having moved from Real Madrid to PSG, which is interesting to see. But the card still looks nuts. It's got 70 pace, 74 dribbling, 70 shooting, 88 defending, 76 passing, and 84 physicality. That card is going to be, again, up there with, uh, for me, up there with Marquinhos at around 200k, maybe even 250 at the start of the game because of the pace and uh, obviously the stature of the guy and the fact that he's got high fears, high defending as well. So, and it'll have like high defensive work rates, very high defensive work rates. So I can see that card being expensive. Then, next, um, Gianluigi Donnarumma. I've actually followed this guy quite a bit. I like watching Serie A. I'm a big fan of Serie A as well. Football, the football over there is really good. Uh, my favorite uh, player from Serie A is actually Dries Mertens. So just say, anyhow, the guy has got insane stats. He's got an 89 overall card. I can see this card being around 300k at the start of the game. 300k, 100%. It's a goalkeeper card. It's a high rated goalkeeper card. It's going to be a very, very good goalkeeper card going throughout the game purely because of his height. Like Donnarumma's tall. I think he's actually as tall as me. I think he's 6'4". So yeah, I think I think this card will stay, keep its price for, for a while. 
So yeah. After that, we've got Neymar Jr. 91 overall, 91 pace, 94 dribbling, 83 shooting, 37 defending, 86 passing, and 60 physicality. Five star, five star. Can do it on his left, can do it on his right. Can also roll about on the floor like a little kid if he wants to. Anyhow, I'm not a big fan of Neymar, but the card is the same card pretty much as last FIFA. I haven't really got much to say about that, but we've got an upgrade to the one and only Kylian Mbappé Lota with the 91 overall card. I'm happy for him that he's got this 91 overall card. He very definitely deserves it. And uh, obviously with 97 pace, 92 dribbling, 88 shooting, 36 defending, 80 passing, 77 fizz. A great card. And I reckon this card will be around 2 million at the start of the game. I can see it happening. I can see this card being 2 million because it looks absolutely boss this is uh, that card is almost end game like uh, that card will be good i reckon up until team of the week seven if he hasn't had the team of the week until then so yeah i can see this team of the week seven or eight even this card is very good two million i reckon let me know in the comments then we got the i don't want to say the the the, the, the boss of Ligun because that's still for me and bape but obviously uh, uh, up there would be with one of the best players in the world Lionel Messi. 93 overall keeps his rating. I think Messi and Ronaldo should have been the same rating, but that's me biased. I'm wearing the United kit. What, am I gonna, what else am I going to say? Anyhow, we've got 85 pace, 95 dribbling, 92 shooting, 34 defending, 91 passing, 65 physicality. Again, Messi's a bit slow for a right winger for me. When I when I use wingers, I like them to have eight, 90 plus pace, like 90 plus. But obviously, it's Messi, you know. If you're going to pack him, you're going to pack him, you're going to use him. Especially at the start of the game, you're going to use that finishing. That finishing's going to be nuts. His, his finishing, I think he's going to have like three or four star weak foot, in my opinion. Because he doesn't really use his right. He uses, he's left footed, so yeah. Anyhow, I reckon price-wise, you're looking at around four or five million at the start of the game. If Mbappe's going to be two or three... He'll be like four or five, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, those are the new League and Player ratings that have just come out. Let me know if you guys agree with what some of the stuff I said in the comments down below. And with that being said, this has been Boy Pokes 12. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next one very, very soon. Peace.